Yeah, that's what this be about. Can you see me tear your plans? You fucking legend. That's why it's It's my caliber. I don't know that That's the KMC model. That's her favorite thing to do. If you've never heard about this or never played it before, it's basically an extraction game that revolves around first-person combat in a fantasy-oriented dungeon that represents Dungeons and Dragons very well, in my opinion. And if you've never played an extraction game like Tarkov or Marauders or Lost Light or anything like that, then it revolves around going in, getting your loot, and making it out alive while simultaneously risking the things that you have brought in in order to defend yourself or make the run easier. So with all that being said, this is my first look at the first person extraction based fantasy game, Dark and Darker. To bring somebody back, and I'm like, Two thirds tops here. <laughs> I might just fall over dead when you come back. But if you come back with full health, maybe you can revive me. I don't know. I don't know how this table works. Oh, hello, naked man. So for whatever reason, every single clip that I took in Dark and Darker decided that it wasn't going to pick up my microphone audio, so thank you to J-Dubs for doing all of the in-game commentary given the fact that my microphone wasn't picked up at all. <laughs> no! Why can't I break it? <clears throat> oh, I'm just gonna die here too, actually. I'm just gonna like... <laughs> Dude, that's sick. Um... Damn, that's crazy! So, if you hit Q, don't do it now, but when you hit Q, it'll begin a 1.5 second cast, and it'll deal 100 damage, magic damage, to all undead creatures around 7.5 meters around you. So, like, that's like 15 feet. So if you get surrounded or whatever, you can blast like a huge holy aura. And then... <laughs> Those spiders, they infinitely spawn until you crack their vase over there that they come from. Oh, that's an altar of sacrifice, too. So at this point, I understood that this game was hard, but I didn't understand the level of difficulty between switching between my weapon and then my staff and then healing and then back to my weapon to be able to do proper combat. So this is the result of my first big encounter. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good try. That room is, like, brutally hard completely intrigued by the way that this game was built and the dungeon aspect with all of the looting i really wanted to see what secrets were locked behind doors literally and then i found this book oh hell yeah you first <laughs> hell yeah dude <laughs> nice no way yeah you smoked them Is there any juice in that? I don't think I've ever seen a royal coffin. <sighs> Naked ass when I pop up. I can't even hit him in that gate. Yes, he's dead. Oh, that's clutch, hell yeah. Oh, dude, right here. Oh, we can't even go through that. We gotta go the other way. 
The darkness is coming at us. Depending on how much PVM or PvP you find yourself running into, it seems like even when you play a healing class like the Cleric, you still run out of health relatively regularly. And um, that's when you just take advantage of the mechanic where you could sit on the ground and let your health come back on its own and let your teammate clear the room in front of you. Oh, that's actually sick. Potion thing. Oh, so much loot. I'll take the white one, you take the green one. The green one's worth, like, quite a bit right there. Oh, fuck, darkness. We gotta go up these stairs quick. Yes, I see the fucking portal. There's players here. I'm gonna open this one. Open the one beside me here and see if you can walk through. Shit. Go through the one I opened. There you go. No, you're good, you're good. No, he killed me! He's going through my portal. He might appear beside you. Be careful. So you can't hear my microphone for this clip, but I know for a fact that I celebrated too early, given the fact that I thought that I was exiting and I was able to leave the dungeon with the loot that I had collected. Little did I know I was going down to hell, which I inevitably didn't quit because I was too terrified. That's the trick with them. Nice, that's insane, okay. After getting a little bit used to what the dungeon looked like and kind of the secret entrances, where the loot was and how the combat worked, we finally ran into our first players, which I had no idea what to do. Watch this. I'm gonna kill him. Got him. Got him! That's two down. There's lots of spiders though. Shit, come in this room. And then close that door. If we can't- oh, there is no door. I'll close this one and that means we only have one side to defend. Okay, here, I'm gonna drink this pot and rest real quick. So that my health comes back quick. I gotta pee so bad. <laughs> we just wiped that team though. No, John. You wiped that team, John. You wipe that team. Oh shit, yeah, just try to avoid him if you can. No! Are you kidding me right now? Yes, that's such a clutch shield, dude. Let's go. That mimic, what up? Fuck me up. Oh, it's the boss room. <laughs> okay. Oh shit, I'm getting shot. Oh, from up top. Oh, here, take these two health potions off those players. Cheers. <laughs> I don't even know what way we can go. We go up top. Oh my god, I am gonna die to this. It literally is forcing us to go through the boss room. See if we can run through it. I don't know, we're just gonna die to the fire, I guess. No! We almost had it. Oh, I almost had it. Nice. Holy shit, we survived that.
Oh my god, that's so clutch. Oh yeah, thank you. Do those do eventually come back though, or are they gone for the whole match? Okay. Oh, t check this out. There's a spell book in here. If you use that, it buffs your heals and stuff too. At this point, when I realized that I could use spell books instead of staffs, I got extremely excited and casted this on John when I didn't need to, and I made sure he knew how excited I was as soon as I did so. <laughs> Oh, I hear players coming too. <clears throat> no, I'm dead. I think I almost killed him. <laughs> Can't even help you with that guy because he's like in a shit spot. Nice, good shit. This was kind of the turning point to which I mentally realized that I could actually switch between heals, heal John, and then switch back to combat and kill the things I needed to kill to defend myself, and it opened so many doors for combat. The rest of them died to the traps. That was huge. What the fuck is that? Do you hear that? Like, walking around below us? Whatever that is, it's big. That's a big heal. Like, that's actually clutch. Campfire kit, dude, let's go! That sound scared the shit out of me. I didn't know what that was. Dude. It's actually pretty smooth. I notice it, it runs well on my machine too, which is a good sign, because my machine doesn't run anything. The one on the left, how is he not dead yet? What the fuck? There's a certain sense of accomplishment that comes with killing two skeletons that you know would have killed you two games prior to that just based on not understanding walking forward and backwards correctly. As realistically small as that accomplishment might be, I still felt like a fucking god. That's fine. It's the invincible zombie. Merry Hanukkah. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> right in front of us, we should hit that. Let's go. I'm canceling my rest for that. Yes, it's right here. Okay, literally take my jewelry right underneath me here, if you can fit it in your inventory. It's all under my feet. I'm gonna open the portal and then you go. I think it's one person per portal, but maybe not. That might that's like old info potentially. You gotta walk through that. Oh shit dude, the darkness is coming too. Go, go, go. Another one opened right beside when we did that. Fuck yes, I'm gonna go. This was officially my best crawl yet. 
I hadn't made it out of the game yet, and seeing a blue portal, or at least hearing one, I knew that there was hope. The moment I walked through that, I told John to pick up the boots that I dropped on the ground. I will, I will. Dude, the players are coming! They're in the fucking doorway! I got the boots, I'm out! <laughs> Joe is swan swimming it. <laughs> it is cracked. Like, every day. What? Dude, I've never seen purple jewelry. I don't know about you guys, but I think about a specific family guy I've seen every day. Smucking them titties. What are you thinking they're all just bitties? Well, I should be able to play a game what? of NHL. Oh my god, you've dumpstered him, dude. He is a warlock. So while Rob's talking about Family Guy and making weird fucking noises in the background, I see a warlock with his pants down looking through his inventory. I sneak up behind him and I smack him in the back of the head with my maul. It felt so good. That's a obelisk! Right behind this door. Bye. Okay, we just gotta survive this room and be careful. There's a fucking wizard over here. Yep, yeah, yeah, do it. You know, we you might be in the room we were just in. Is the game going pretty good or what? Let's say not really. My whole PC froze. Oh, Fuck oh, that uh, uh, fucking uh, bullshit! Players and... Wait, we gotta go up the stairs actually, up this way. I didn't realize until the moment that I went through the portal, but John's health was so much lower than mine, and we were inside of the storm. Well, this is what happened to poor Jacques Meng. I'm Ben, if you can. The I blue ones? Can. The next floor? Yeah. No, the blue ones is exit. I hit a red one. What the, oh, fuck, Jesus, what is the that? fuck is that? Oh god, go, 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 go. I'm gonna clap my booty. Oh my Dude, I almost got two hit. What the fuck is all this shit, dude? That's a boss. So dead. <laughs> Just stand your ground and blast missiles. He's even that fucking big old boss. Yeah, that thing's That's terrifying. So it's a demon. That's an actual demon. <sighs> That's a fucking greater demon from RuneScape right there. There will be not one point in which I willingly enter a red portal unless I absolutely have to. Eat shit, pussy boy. No, how the fuck? Nice. You shit in your pants? That guy killed me. Oh no. Hmm. Oh no, <laughs> Nick. Dude. There's like nine zombies. What the fuck is this? <laughs> you can? I can use a heal even. Thank you, huge. There's one on these stairs too, it's another team. Shit, they're invisible. They're here. Find us. Dude, shit, I'm holding them off on the stairs. They can't push it. Oh shit, darkness. Oh, 
Oh, they went through the red portal. Somebody take this portal. Uh, maybe Nick, you're pretty lit up. We'll get the next one. You want me to take this one? Yep. Just an archer dude, watch out. After John has given away so many exit portals, this is how he gets repaid. No! You fucking piece of shit! Fuck! Just banging out. I'm with you, it's 2v1. Full confidence, drunk confidence. Oh, here's the other cleric. Oh shit, dude, I got instant cat. Even though I was getting a little bit of skill, most of my PvP still went like this. Yeah, we're Fox, in the circle. champion. Here, I'm gonna use uh, a sanctuary. This came down to a matter of choice and not skill. John, I could have helped you, but I got selfish. Hey, you're the... Okay, hold on. Oh, there's two of them. There's multiple. There's one in front of the one that I just went into. Players, players, mage. Just dodge the that guy. Yeah. <coughs> still, oh god. You're good. You're good. You're good. Yeah, just... yeah. He's right here. He's right. Yeah. He died. He died to a skelly. And I died to a skeleton. <laughs> no. No. Okay, he's gonna kill me. I gotta back up a little bit. No. Ah. Oh, what the fuck is this level? I really appreciate anybody that's made it this far in the video. It was kind of a long one and it was really out of the ordinary from what I normally do, but I did kind of want to strike a different chord with this one. I absolutely loved playing this game and it was a totally different experience compared to most of the extraction style games that I've played. Because of how unique this game is and the player base that usually has about 20 to 40,000 people online at any given time, I'm super excited to be able to play this game regularly and bring it to the channel a little bit more often. My name's KMC Nelson, and I'm terrible at doing outros, so I'm just gonna roll one I already made. Yeah, that's what this be about, KMC, we tear your plans. You fucking legend! That's why it's all. Shit, that's the KMC model, that's her favorite thing to do.